minus one minute. T minus fifty seconds. T minus forty seconds. Minus thirty seconds. T minus twenty seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hey everybody, this is Pastor Chris, and I'm ready to check you into C3 Kids. Would you like to play a game? All you'll need is one dime, and these are the instructions on how the game will go. Spin Doctor. In this challenge, the contestant must use one finger to stop a spinning dime in an upright position. The edge of a dime is a mere 1.3 millimeters, thus focus and precision are critical. Failure to complete this task in 60 seconds may result in elimination.
Hey, did you get yours more than once? You guys are good. You know what, if you really want a challenge, try with even more coins. Try even 10. Wow, that's a challenge. It was so good playing with you today. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. <laughs>
This is Joseph. Hey! Who was the son of Israel and Rachel. Ah. He was his father's favorite, so his brothers hated him oh. and sold him into slavery. Yep. You see, Joseph was taken to Egypt, Ooh. and Potiphar, one of the Pharaoh's officials, bought him for his household. God was with Joseph, and he did well in Potiphar's house. Oh. Potiphar saw that God made everything Joseph did a success. Aha. So he put Joseph in charge of his whole house. Yeah. And God blessed Potiphar's house because of this. Potiphar's wife saw how well Joseph was doing in the house, and she wanted to make him do bad things. Joseph ran away from her because he wanted nothing to do with someone who would try to make him do the wrong thing. This made Potiphar's wife angry, and she wanted to be rid of Joseph. Huh? So she lied and made Potiphar believe that Joseph had done the bad things that she wanted him to do. Potiphar burned with anger against Joseph and sent him to prison. Uh. While Joseph was in prison, dum, 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 dum. Hmm? Again, he did well and the warden soon made him responsible for all that was done there. God was with Joseph and gave him success in whatever he did. When two full years had passed, Pharaoh was having unsettling dreams. Pharaoh did not understand his dreams, so he sent for Joseph. Hey. Pharaoh asked Joseph to tell him the meaning of his dreams. With God's help, Joseph told Pharaoh that the dreams told of what could come in the future, and he explained all the dreams to the Pharaoh. Pharaoh believed that what Joseph was saying was true. He trusted Joseph as a wise man, and he put him in charge of the land of Egypt, of Pharaoh's palace, and of all his people. Even though Joseph's story didn't start out well, God was with him every step of the way. Just as we saw, Joseph was put in charge of all of Potiphar's house. But Potiphar's wife lied and got Joseph thrown into prison. Help! Joseph spent two years in prison, but still, God gave him favor in everything that he did, so Joseph was put in charge of all of the prison. Now during this time, Pharaoh was having some bad dreams. Joseph was able to interpret the Pharaoh's dream. And because of that, the Pharaoh put Joseph in charge of all of Egypt. Just like Joseph's life, if we put God number one and do our best in every situation, God will bless us. That means all situations. Even if we're grounded, that means doing our bed our very best. Even if someone doesn't like us, that means loving them even so. You know, just like Joseph's story, he started off in a pit, but just like a plant, a plant can never grow unless a seed is dropped into a pit. So I encourage each and every one of you, when you're in that time where you feel like you're in a pit, just know that God is with you and he will bless you in everything that you do because he loves you and he wants the very best for you. Thank you for joining us this week for C3 Kids. I can't wait to see you next week. Hope you have a great day. Bye.